all know these are really partisan times, but I always feel no matter who gets elected, once it's all over, we ought to look for things we can agree on and try to do those, even while we have big differences on other things. Folks, I'm especially happy to be here with my friend and colleague in many years. And I might add, uh, longest serving leader in the United States Senate, Senator Mitch McConnell. Mitch, it's great to be with you. Liz, part of the reason I'm so indifferent to the speaker race, I haven't really taken, I don't really care, they can go throw poop at each other for all I care, is this kind of crap. I am so disenfranchised with the GOP. You would never in a million years see a Democrat senator do an event with Donald Trump when he was president or something like that. It's like we don't want to win. I find it pathetic. Yeah, it's infuriating. I mean, I can't say that I'm surprised in this particular case that Mitch McConnell would be buddy-buddy with the Democrats. He's never been a conservative. He's been a very useful politician. He is a skilled politician. So he's been very useful to the Republicans, especially during the Trump administration when he got so many judges, um, nom or not nominated, but confirmed in the United States Senate. That was an incredible achievement, and it led to the Supreme Court overturning Roe v. Wade. So credit where it's due, a lot of that credit does go to McConnell. But McConnell's not conservative. This is a problem the Republican politician class has is they're naive. They actually have no idea what's going on in the world. They're, they're ostensibly in Washington, D.C. to fight for our liberty and to fight against threats to our liberty, but they don't acknowledge the reality of the political enemy that we're facing. And if you don't acknowledge that reality, then you're not going to fight back against it well. So it manifests the way that it did here with Mitch McConnell, acting like we have something in common with the left. Jesse, you'll notice that when these politicians talk about, John Kasich was doing the same thing on Twitter, talking about this, a coalition candidate for speaker or some, some nonsense like that, I always want to ask them, what, what do we have in common with the left? What issues are you talking about that there's crossover on a principal level or, or at, at this baseline foundational level? What are you talking about? Because we don't agree on border security. We don't agree on the exceptionalism of our nation, of America. We don't agree on parental rights. We don't agree on critical race theory. We don't agree on the role of the FBI and law enforcement in our nation. We don't agree on the free market economy. We don't agree on anything. I can't, I can't name one thing that the Democratic Party in their platform where there's a crossover with the Republican Party. So these politicians like McConnell who pretend that there's a crossover, they're incredibly naive. They're actually being manipulated and exploited. They're pawns of the Democrats. And the word you used, unfortunately, is correct. It's pathetic. Support the First TV today and get instant access to exclusive specials like Who is Ron DeSantis? The History of FBI Scandals and America's Worst Presidents. Visit thefirsttv.com support or download the First TV app to become a supporter and start watching today.